Hi, this is Franz Nikolai from The Hold Steady. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Craig Finn from The Hold Steady. Hey, Steve Selvage from The Hold Steady, and this is What's in My Bag at My House. Gonna start with a new release, Dinosaur Jr., Sweep It Into Space. Can't just be this way. band I've loved since I was in high school and I think 1987 You're Living All Over Me came out and uh, became like one of my favorite bands. I've loved them ever since and um, there's something amazing and comforting about um, about their sound. About I mean Jay Mask is one of my favorite guitar players. The solos you can kind of sail away on and I think it's really inspiring as I myself get older to see uh, a band that's been around a long time now um, continue to make exciting music that's as good as um, anything they've ever done. So I'm really excited. Curvile produced it. Excited to check this one out. Over the course of the last year, of course, I've been through, like everybody, a bunch of different phases of listening in terms of uh, trying to bring some variety and some excitement into the day. So the first phase, one of the first phases was this Zap record, which is perfect for bringing a little bounce to your food preparation. So, acetone. York Boulevard, the last record by this fantastic band from Los Angeles. I happened on this uh, quite by accident and I was happy for it because it kind of changed my life. Uh, Mark Lightcap, the guitar player on this record, really, really radically uh, altered the way I approached the instrument. Um, such a beautiful player, and uh, I'm very thankful for his influence. And these are great songs, and it's just a really good vibe. Uh, good, uh, you know, good late night jam, that kind of thing. The next record in my bag is um, uh, from a band, Hurry for the Riff Raff, and um, the record's called The Navigator. I sort of slept on this. I've seen their name a bunch. Uh, but the other day, I heard a song called Living in the City on, uh, on the radio. Living in the city, well, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. It blew me away. It's a very cool song, and um, checked out a few more, a little bit more of their music. Really liked it, really thought they're strong songs. So this is something um, that I'm excited to dig into. The Navigator's the record. Um, you know, they have other records too, so hopefully I'll get into all of those. For someone who has made my living as a piano player in rock bands for most of my life, I haven't always self-identified as a piano player or spent a lot of time practicing. But after a couple months of pandemic, I figured this is the opportunity to really get some of those skills under my fingers that I'd been faking for a long time. Um, and so I spent a couple months working on uh, New Orleans piano stuff, Professor Longhair. I don't have any Professor Longhair on LP, but I do have this great one. Dr. John plays Mac Rebenack, solo piano. All right, let's see what else we got in the bag. Cannonball Adderley. This is from the Everest series uh, of folk and jazz, archive of folk and jazz music. Um, I'm kind of a bit of a collector of these. This series, I like it a lot, and this is one of my favorites from it. Uh, both on the blues side and the jazz side, they have some great sort of compilations and reissues, and I like the artwork, and it all has a sort of a theme to it, so it's, you know, given for collecting. It's good. Um, <clears throat> I discovered this record over last summer, over the pandemic summer, and it was quite, uh, it was a good companion over that summer, that wild, crazy summer. The third is um, a band from Canada, Kiwi Jr. on Sub Pop Records. I think the record's called Cooler Returns. their second record I believe it's one of these records um, 
it's an indie rock record. It's, um, you know, it, it, it has uh, influences, a bunch of things I like. But I think one thing that I love about this record is they sound like they're having a really good time. And, um, and they're funny. Like, you want to hang out with these guys. Um, I have not seen the band live. This record came out during the pandemic. And um, there haven't been many shows, but I, I really look forward to when I can. And I think it's just a great, lighthearted, fun record. Um, Cooler Returns, Kiwi Jr. Then I pulled out this record, uh, a compilation of the original Boogie Woogie Piano Giants. It's got Mead Lux Lewis, Pete Johnson, Albert Ammons. I got into some Huey Piano Smith. All this stuff that's like foundational piano skills. Something you can get both your paws on. And it's a little bit of a rhythmic uh, exercise for your brain. I met Garth Hudson one time and he asked me what piano players I liked. And the only one I could think of for some reason was Art Tatum. And he sort of recoiled and he said, oh, I don't recommend Art Tatum for young piano players. <laughs> he said, you got to do Montunos and Johnny Johnson. And uh, this gave me the opportunity, this pandemic gave me the opportunity to, to uh, dig into that stuff a little bit, take Garth's advice. And lastly, in my bag, Steve Reich, Sextet and Six Marimbas. Uh, my dad, Sid Selvage really got me into this sort of stuff. He's a big fan of both Steve Reich and Philip Glass. This is probably my favorite uh, of Steve Reich's work. I mean, I like a lot of it, but this is the one that really resonates with me. I find it both invigorating and calming at the same time. Uh, one thing I like to do is if I get something from Ikea or something like that, anything that I have to put together with instructions, I like to put this on and then kind of have a race with myself to see if I can get it done before the record ends, you know? I have one more record I want to go through um, in my bag here. Litton Quessy Johnson, um, Bass Culture, LKJ and Dub. It's a collection of the great dub poet, um, Litton Quessy Johnson. I've always listened to a lot of dub music around the house. Um, when I write and things, uh, it's nice to have music that doesn't have lyrics, and I feel like that's the music that always sounds good to me. So um, I tend to have like a dub playlist that I kind of go to that I keep adding things in. And um, this year I really got into this um, LKJ record. It's, it's the, the poetry is really cool, and the music's cool, and it's just, um, it, it, again, it's exciting to discover an artist that has a catalog that once you kind of get into it there's so much more to go to so i've been really having a lot of fun with that this year um linton Quessy johnson lkj and dub and bass culture um that's also in my bag so thank you for having me amoeba uh thanks for joining me and talking records with me um we'll see you soon stay positive that's what's in my bag at my house and uh Appreciate your time and uh, take care. Thanks.